guys, Willie Renshaw here, coming at you with another review. Today I'm reviewing Mother, directed by Darren Aronofsky, starring Jennifer Lawrence and Javier Bardem. This movie's about And unfortunately, that's as good of an explanation for this movie as I have for you. If you haven't seen the movie, guess what? You could probably review this movie just as well as someone that has. As I was watching this movie, it was pretty clear that Aronofsky was trying to use the film as a metaphor for something. As to what that metaphor was, it's, it's extremely hard to decipher. The movie starts out normal enough following Jennifer Lawrence and Javier Bardem's characters living on a desolate house in the middle of the woods. They seem like a happily married couple until two unwanted guests arrive, played by Michelle Pfeiffer and Ed Harris. Then things start to get a little weird. I have to admit that even though this movie was started out a little slow, it definitely had my interest the first two thirds. But then when the third act rolls around, it kind of completely goes in a different direction than the prior two acts, and it definitely lost me a little bit. I take that back. The third act actually lost me quite a bit. I know Darren Aronofsky has a reputation for making his movies a little out there, but I think this one is it's a little too far out there, at least in my opinion. If you saw the trailer for this movie and thought you were going to go see a horror or a thriller movie, which is kind of what I thought after viewing the trailer, uh, you're in for a real surprise. For the first two thirds of the movie, I did feel like I was watching a horror movie or a thriller, but then when the third act comes around, it's completely different and it has absolutely nothing to do with the first two thirds of the movie. This movie is so open to interpretation, I don't think I can accurately tell you what it's about. And I can't even give you my opinion of what it's about because that might not be accurate. And even if it is accurate, it might possibly ruin the movie for you. All I can tell you is if you're expecting this movie to be anything like what you saw in the trailer, you're going to be disappointed. And that if you are going to see it, you have to keep in mind that everything you're seeing on screen is a metaphor for something else. Now let's talk about the positives because there actually are some. The acting is top notch. Uh, both Jennifer Lawrence and Javier Bardem do a good job in this movie, and it's it's interesting to watch how the, the dynamic of their relationship progressed throughout the film. Ed Harris and Michelle Pfeiffer are also very good in this movie in their respective roles. Another positive is the overall production of the film. Everything looks good and seems to transition smoothly. So, should you go see this movie? Not if you like money. Unfortunately. The acting and top-notch production is not enough to save this movie. I was fortunate enough that I have a movie pass card, so I didn't have to pay pay to see this movie. But if I had spent $15 to see it, I would have been pretty upset walking out of the theater. The first hour and a half of the movie is basically setting you up for the last 30 minutes of the movie. And all you get to do the last 30 minutes of the movie is learn what, what Darren Aronofsky's opinions are of humanity and the human race as, as we currently are, which... It's something that I don't think anyone needs to pay $15 to see. Because of that, I'm going to give Mother a 3 out of 10. Alright guys, I think that's going to wrap things up for today. As always, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe. And until next time, take care.